Hi everybody, this is uh, another Edmica conversion video and I will be showing you how to convert uh, most of the Minolta MC line. So there's MC and MD uh, and there's a few others, but th th this kit uh, is almost universal for most of the MC lines. They they just, they come with the same mount, but they'll come with different ed links. But uh, <clears throat> this will be the conversion video for the uh, really great uh, Minolta MC uh, 21 millimeter 2.8 and it's reversible there's no damage to the lens um, and uh, yeah how to convert it to EF mount so let's let's get started it's important for you to use a good screwdriver uh, these Japanese screwdrivers actually don't use Phillips they use uh, cross point screwdrivers so it's really good if you can go on eBay and look up a moody uh, cross point screwdriver uh, number two or, or a zero zero is how it's referred to but that that way you won't strip your your screws if you, in a pinch you can use a Phillips but you've got to use a lot of force um, downward force and be careful you don't strip the screws so um, first step is you take this silver ring off the outside okay and I'm, and I'm missing another tool here you will need a really small screwdriver I've actually filed this one down but there's there's little set screws in here and you'll need a really small screwdriver for that so let's take this you don't have to take them all the way out you just have to unscrew the set screws so they're sticking out a little bit and that way you won't lose them and then that comes off next you turn the ring all the way to the right so you have access to those four screws and you take those screws out. It's good to put them into a thing. You'll be reusing these. Some you'll reuse and some you, you won't. Some things. So actually I'm going to use uh, this one for this piece for uh, for the parts you'll reuse and this one for the ones you won't need anymore. There's four screws to take out. Reusing that one. That one. That one. Now, carefully take this part off. Now, on some of the MC ones, you won't, it'll, it'll be stuck, you won't be able to lift it off, and you'll have to unscrew you have to remove this rear lens element like this, but in this one, the back was big enough, so you don't have to unscrew it. And because when you unscrew it, be careful, there's the aperture right there. You don't want dust or dirt falling in. So basically just unscrew it so you can take the back mount off and then put this back on so that you keep the aperture clean. Okay, so we're gonna set this lens aside. We're actually doing the conversion to this part because we have to reuse much of this because uh, it's, um, you know, it's hard to replace everything type thing. So what we're basically gonna be doing, we're gonna be removing this uh, silver ring, the old mount, um, and we'll be removing m some of this portion here and replacing it with, with something else. So basically first, let's we have to get access to the Four, the screws the four screws that hold this piece on so basically you'll be removing almost everything here and much of it we will not be using again so just put this aside and then later save it in a ziploc bag label it so that if you ever want to convert this lens back to original you can some of these are flatheads so so some of them also have this lever here um, you'll be removing that completely so that's a that's a flathead screw those we will not be using oh man this thing's filming upside down okay all right uh, now uh, before I get too much further we're removing things um, the important part is there are two springs here and you need to make sure you don't lose them especially the the, the one that's stronger the, the longer reaching one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your thumb over it and you're gonna pop you're gonna pop the the screw the the catch off and you're gonna take that and you're gonna put that into the uh, the re the reuse area 
and the, the less strong screw you're going to, or less strong spring, you're going to not not use. So this is in the no use area. Okay. Um, now there is a small C clip here that holds this down. It's sort of tough to remove. It's this uh, clip right here. Um, so what you do is you find there's a little slot and it pops off like that. You're going to be reusing that. So put that in the reuse area. Okay. Now the reason we're taking all this stuff out is to be able to access the um, the screws that hold this part on, but also um, there's this long uh, part that goes into the camera that needs to be taken out. So there's there's two arms, and we're going to take we're going to only be using one of them for the conversion. So we're going to be reusing this one, and this one with the long part is going to go away. Now you may need to there, took that off. Potentially, you may need to, for some of the conversions, you need to take this out of the way. And how you do that is you loosen those two screws, then you can take that out and put that back in. That's that controls the aperture position. Okay, so we're getting close to actually right now I'm gonna have to take it away because this is in the way of this screw here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and remove that as well. I'm just going to loosen these screws, and then I'm going to push that out. Take that out, so that's going to be reused as well. Okay, so now we're going to remove one, two, three, four screws that hold this mount on. And we're not reusing them, so put them in the don't reuse pile. Okay, and then the mount comes off. So that's not being reused either. Okay, so next, what you're going to have to do is I've, I'm, I'm with the kit comes five self-tapping screws. You're going to need to use one of them. You, you'll need four for the conversion, but I've sent an extra one so that you can use it to tap the holes. So these holes, these one, two, three, four holes don't have thread in them, but we're going to make threads in them and use a lot of force and you get, you push on it and you turn it and you have the thing come through and you do that four times. I've already done it on this one because I've converted this one, but you tap, pre-tap each of these, and then you make sure that there's no aluminum shavings inside. So those holes, that's really the only modifications you're making to the lens. You're adding, you're adding tap, um, you're adding a thread to those holes. Uh, but, but that really doesn't affect the condition of the lens. You can uh, go back to making it originally and, and, and it's really not damaging it. So, which is important to me for these conversions. So once those holes are tapped, um, the next step, we're going to install this uh, Ed Bushing. And what it does is it goes over the, it goes over the, the, uh, the pivot point of, of where this goes, this, this arm which controls aperture position. And what it does is it, it replaces, because you remove the thickness of this thing, it replaces and guides um, the, the top arm that, um, that this, the function that this one did. Now, before I attach that and put the spring on, I'm going to um, reinstall this. This is the what controls the position of the aperture. And that needs to go
Sometimes it's good to use tweezers. This stuff is kind of small and hard to manipulate. You can see it goes back in here. And make sure you tighten it. There, there, there will be marking where these screws have been tightened before. Make sure that it matches because you can make adjustments. You can adjust the orientation of this thing based on where you tighten those screws. So there's a bit of adjustment there. Okay, so now that's been put back on. Uh, this lever is put back in. And now we're going to attach we're going to we're going to reinstall the the small this thing here the little C clip that's going that holds the arm down it's again really small and hard to work with but just line it up over the slot and pop it back on and that way this is now attached so you've got the head link the arms back on there's no longer any long part sticking through um, and then the final step in this one is we're going to take the stronger spring the thicker spring and we're going to install it over this I believe the long arm the long arm goes to catch the button there now be careful that this doesn't fly out it's uh, very easy to lose to work with here it's easy to lose I know my thumb is in the way of the video sorry okay so now the spring is on so when this rotates that controls that controls the position okay now we're getting close to done I believe I have everything I'm just trying to think if I need to put this back on no okay so basically now you're going to put uh, if you need to remove this again remember to unscrew it and so you can put this back on and then this uh, this catch catches this uh, this lever make sure that lines up Okay, it does, all right. Now rotate this all the way to the right so that you can see the four holes. Okay, so that's, that's there. And then you're going to reuse the original four screws that held that down. One, two, three, and four. And this is basically, so you can see now you've got aperture control I'm not sure if you can see it in the yeah there you can see it opening and closing okay and then finally you put this on and you will
line this up. Make sure that this, the range is covered. So you line it up until you can move this, the whole range inside that slot. And then you, you'll see that it has access to those threaded holes that you, you made. And then you're going to use the other four screws that come included in the kit. And you're going to tighten them. And that's it. Your lens is converted. That's now an EF mount lens. And you, you can still use this, the red dot to line it up. And you now have an EF mount converted Minolta lens, non-damaged and, and left original. To, to make go back to original, just do these instructions. It seems complicated. Once you do a few times, it's actually not that bad. You can make this lens go back and forth to original and convert it to EF. Thanks for watching another Edmika conversion. You can buy my kits on edmika.com. Thanks.